Hey everyone. All right, so there's one thing that always gets a lot of attention in my videos, and it's probably because they are very expressive and they move a lot when I talk and do all this fun stuff, but that's my eyebrows. To this day, my eyebrows are probably the number one most commented thing on in any video. Doesn't matter what video it is, my eyebrows always get a lot of attention. I don't know why everyone seems to comment on my eyebrows. Some people like them, some people hate them. Either way, like, I'm content with how my eyebrows look because that's the way I do them. So if you hate them, eh, whatever. If you love them, Thanks for liking them, <laughs> but yeah, um, so I'm going to show you a quick updated version as to how I do my eyebrows. There's honestly not that much different now compared to the past. The only difference now is I use at least two colors when I do them, sometimes three if I'm doing like green brows or red brows or something like that. I'll throw in a little bit more color. So I have an old video that goes into a lot more detail about how to like shape up your eyebrows and figure out where your arch should be. And I'll say this now, in that video, I keep saying crease instead of arch. It's totally wrong, but whenever you hear me say crease in that video, I actually mean arch. So <laughs> with that aside, um, I will say something that's changed my life completely when it comes to eyebrows is this palette. It's the Anastasia Brow Pro Palette. I got this in June at Fame Expo, and ever since I started using this, my life has just done a complete turnaround. Because you can see it has six different duos in it. So you can do anywhere from blonde brows to black brows anywhere in between and then I know I say this in the video but you can always throw in a colored eyeshadow with them to change it so if you want purple brows you could do like the golden blonde color and then throw purple in it or you can do any of these actually and throw purple in it depending on how dark or how light you want them to be but that's pretty much it um, this video is probably gonna be the tutorial is probably gonna be shorter than this part and the end where I talk because I can talk for Ever. It's something I need to work on, but hey, at least you get a lot more information. Whatever. Yeah, that's it. So with all the talking done, hopefully, I think, I don't know, but let's just go right ahead and get the tutorial started. Yeah. All right. So the first thing I do is I actually take, which is just a CoverGirl brow pencil, nothing special, cheap drugstore pencil. I've actually had this for quite a few months. Um, it comes in a pack of two. I lost the other one, but I don't sharpen this that often, and I use it all the time because a little bit goes a long way. Um, I haven't tried anything new lately, only because I've had this for so long and I haven't had to try anything new. But I just take this, and I'm just going to go in and draw in the shape I want my brow to have. Once I have that done, I just go on with my finger and soften up the inside corner so it's not as harsh. Then once it's done, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia uh, Brow Pro Palette. It's got a concealer, which I don't use. Um, I just have it scraped out because it looked gross and I didn't want you to see my nasty palette. But it's got a concealer so you can line up um, the under edge and the top edge of your brow if you want to. A brow wax if you actually have brow hair to keep it in place. But then it's got duos and there are six of them one's for golden blonde taupe medium brown dark brown strawberry which is like a strawberry blonde um, reddish brown and then ebony i use the lighter color of dark brown and then also the lighter color of ebony to do my brows and i like this for drag um mainly because depending on what wig i'm going to wear i can switch up my brow color to match blonde hair brown hair black hair or throw in a little bit of colored eyeshadow like green or red or anything like that when i'm wearing like a brightly colored wig but i'm just gonna go in with the lighter color from the dark brown duo and i'm going to use this to line the very bottom of my brow so I have a nice defined line. And I'm gonna go in with the same brush. And starting on that line, I'm just gonna flick the color upwards all the way throughout the brow. Like so. Now of course you're gonna do that on both brows, so I'm gonna go in with the same brush. This time I'm using the lighter color of ebony, which is this one right here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a nice line on the bottom so that way I can get all of this dimension 
and make it look like there's actually something there. But instead of grabbing more product, I'm just going to use that line right there and do the same thing and flick the color up. Up and out. And you can see it's instantly making it look like that's more three-dimensional and it has more pop to it. And now I'm just going to repeat that on the other side. Now if you want even more or a little bit more um, of a realistic look, I'm going to go on with the darker color of ebony this time, so the darkest color that I have on here. And then I'm just going to go in and very lightly put a few brush strokes in the brows. My brows are cut very short, or if you don't have eyebrows, like when my brows are completely shaved off, this helps to make it look like they're real and not just blocks drawn on my face. And believe it or not, that's it. It's very, very simple. I just used the pencil to give the shadow something to stick to. This is not waterproof. Um, my eyebrow can rub off very easily. I'm just used to not touching my eyebrows. So you might want to use something a little bit more waterproof, water resistant. You can use a cream, use like Max Fluid Line, um, anything pretty much if you want longer stay. I know Anastasia has a lot of great brow products. She's pretty much the sh when it comes to eyebrows. So I know she has a lot of products. I'm going to try some more out so I can see because this is something I have to do every day. I leave the house pretty much because I don't really have eyebrows anymore. I know um, Sigma has their brow duos. I used to use that in the past before I used this. Since this has so many colors in it and I change my brow color quite frequently due to drag, this is a lot better for me. That is it. You could, if you like a very like structured brow and you want everything to be super sharp, you could always go in with the concealer that comes in here and line right underneath your brow to clean up your lines. I like my lines to be somewhat clean but have a little bit of like a fade to them and not be super super sharp because again I want it to look real natural and if I had real brows they would be a little bit fluffy so having the fluffier edge on this to me I think seems a little bit more realistic but to each their own, we all do different things with our makeup. This is how I like it. You might like something different, and that's okay, because it's makeup. There are no rules. So one last tip I guess I could give all of you is if you've watched the old eyebrow video and I talk about using a spoolie or a brush and like doing all the lines and everything, I actually started to angle all my spoolies like this because it just makes it a little bit easier for me to use them. But another great tip or trick having it angled like this, when you go like this on your brow, if you just go like this, and pull straight down, you'll get that nice little angle and it's in the right spot. Isn't that weird? That's awesome. But yeah, <laughs> that's the last trick for this video. I hope this was helpful. Again, there's a lot more information in the other video. This is just an update how I do it now, which the only difference is I guess I use two colors now instead of just one and then I go in and do all the little flicks and all that business. But that's it. I hope this is helpful, and until my next video, which is actually a long one. <laughs> it's going to be really long, but whatever. Until that video, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye.